Hi, this is Dorothy Kilty of Raccoon Alley Creations, and this is a journal that I just finished making for a swap. Um, it's not going to go up until after she's received it, probably. But this was a journal that I had already made, and it covered with um, white fabric. This is a, a pillowcase, an old vintage pillowcase fabric. And then to decorate it, I added lace on the side. I put a little bit of a, um, this is an embossed um, uh, scrapbooking paper, okay, uh, with the gold. And then the button closure. Now this is a Kathleen Maurer button enclosure. And I love this style. So very simple to put in and very simple to do. Now, I had some papers from this. One was a signature that I put together to put into a journal and hadn't done. Well, actually, it was two signatures. And I kind of combined them together. Um, on this inside pocket, I have this really pretty uh, batik fabric. So, and um, I have a pocket here with a, this is a sticker. This is one of Dear Julie Julie's layered label stickers. So I just layered it up on a... Uh, a shipping label, actually. And then this is also a, um, it's an envelope, but it's left so that you can open it up and you can put, uh, do journaling and things in this. So, and then this little picture, sometimes I accidentally pick, print on photo paper instead of on regular paper, but it makes a nice little stiff edge this is also a pocket here that something could go into. Um, I'm putting it this way so the lace shows. Vintage lace on the side of it. Um, this is one of Dear Julie Julie's Vegetals. And this is just a, a vintage ad from 1950, September 1950, Ladies Home Journal. Um, this page, I've got a um, altered paper clip. So on the back, as you can see, both sides are, have, you know, things designed on them so that they have uh, something to look at. And things can be clipped under either side of it, okay? So, um, you could also, you could put a piece of paper or something underneath this side. And then, where is the card that I had that I stuck on this side? It'll turn up and it'll go back in. Okay? Uh, oh, here. Oh, that's, that's it. It was on this bland white page. A lot of the paper that I used in here is like a vintage paper. This is a coin envelope. And once again, you can open it up to have journaling in it. Or it could be glued together and you could stick something in it. Okay, music pages. This is a fold over envelope. So you can see it's just a square that's folded over. I put a, um, some line paper in here for journaling on, um, open it up. And then you have two pockets in here, one on each side. And then it just paper clips in uh, so you can take it out and move it once again. This is a tuck spot that things could be put under on each side, and you have tuck spots in each of the corners that little things could be stuck into. You know, even something as simple as a stamp. Um, vintage stamp, okay? Uh, some sort of dyed paper. Um, I was doing some paper, I was doing some avocado and some coffee dyeing at the same time, and some of it kind of got stuck together. So I got some real interesting effects on this. Okay, now this is a flip out. You can journal on here if you want. You have a pocket here that things can be put into. And over here, you have another pocket here. This was made um, out of an envelope. So you have the window here that shows through. I could have covered the back, but I kind of like these eagles. So, and then this journaling card, um, journal on either side, but it's set up so that when it's in the pocket, you have a nice little 
flower design showing through. And this is also part of the envelope, so it folds up. And this is a pocket here. This is a um, just a journaling card with a book page on it, um, some torn edges and inked. And then on this in here, this is a um, check from a restaurant. It's a German restaurant here in town. So, uh, and then it's decorated with, this is packaging. Um, I used to get a lot of that, and now I'm not getting any anymore. So that is too bad, but, because I like it. And then here's the back of it, um, of the card, can be used for journaling here. And you have a tuck spot right here. So a lot of places that things can be tucked on this. Okay, here's a pocket, this paper. Um, this was fragile paper and it was tearing. So what I did was I reinforced it along the edge with, this is um, joint tape. Um, and I didn't do any other decorating on this one. It just has a music sheet in front of it to make a pocket and then a card. Um, and then this is uh, some sort of pattern paper. Here I have a piece of card stock, um, scrap paper card stock, making a pocket. And I have a couple of... Um, tags, either of which can be uh, journaled on the back. So that goes right here. Okay. This is the other part of that page. And this time I added a cluster on this. Um, just um, some cardinals in 2023. This is a sticker that came in the mail. So pretty simple cluster with just some music tape, some lace, the sticker and the card stuck on it. Um, another one of Julie, Dear, Dear Julie Julie's Digitals. And here's another piece of that dyed, strange, lovely paper. And on here, we have another one of those uh, layered stickers. So I think that's kind of cute. Okay, um, we're gonna flip over some pages. I like it when the pages are different sizes. I think it adds more interest. But if you don't like it, this could be folded down and made into a pocket or something. This is um, a roll of paper um, that I tore a piece off of. So torn edge left because I think it's interesting. Okay, and this is another one. So this is, um, some of these papers are gonna be Dear Julie Julie's and some of them are line dot arrows, I believe. So this really pretty flower with the frame on the front of this. And then here we have a pocket um, on the music sheet, and we have two um, two things tucked in those. Uh, this ledger paper on the back can be easily journaled on, and this was just printed on photo paper, and I made sure that you can write on the back of that too. So that can be a journaling spot. Here we have, uh, this is Dear Julie, Julie's Digital, some more ledger paper, lots of lines to write on here, and I think that these kind of vintagey um, papers, very interesting with them. We have here another uh, paper clip on both sides. Sometimes with these round ones, I use um, coasters and things to make these. And uh, just those round paper coasters that get thrown away. Uh, layered it up with some, I've got, this says pearls and I've got some flat back, um, pearl-like designs here and a bow and music paper. Sometimes on these I'll add a pen to it and it can travel through the journal. Okay, here we have an envelope um, on this paper. This one also opens up, could be glued closed, and then it, these, this page, um, This can be put here, and because you're paper clipping it in place, it can also be a tuck for more journaling spot if you want. This can be a tuck, and this, let's take it off and see, because I think it's a pocket. No, it's not. It's just a decoration, but it's a very pretty decoration. There must have been stuff on this map that I wanted to cover up. It's been a while since I did this, so... Once again, this is a, a printout of ledger paper. It's not actual vintage ledger paper, but look how pretty it is. And I sewed that together with this page 
to make a pocket once again. And once again, I have an envelope that can be used for journaling. I like these envelopes because if you're taking this with you someplace, when you're traveling or whatever, um, the you can put receipts or um, postcards that you pick up. I love picking up postcards and putting those in there. So there's still room to journal even around here. And you could journal on this. And you can journal on the back of that. This is a tuck spot. So um, this design, I believe, came from, well, I know it did, from um, Free Printables for Your Junk Journal with TLC. That's a Facebook group, and she provides all kinds of beautiful things that you can print out. And this is Line Down Arrow. Okay? In the center of these signatures, and I didn't show you on the other one, but instead of cutting the strings short, I left them long, and I just tied some charms on them. So, um, just different things. Okay, we open this up. This is, this was a cutout where there was a butterfly, and I just um, inked around the edge of this and then put some pretty paper underneath uh, to make a tuck spot for another journaling card. And here we have, this is the other half of that same page, and once again, we've got an envelope in it. Um, really pretty envelope. These envelopes may be from Dear Julie, or from Line Down Arrow or from Printables for Your Junk Journaling with TLC. The side of this uh, map is tucked over, so you have a tuck spot here. And then on this side, um, there's a belly band. So a belly band, it's got another layer with little um, a snippet roll on top to decorate it. And then underneath, we have this cute little fold um, card uh, with a couple of little journaling cards tucked in it. Okay, here is another sticker, uh, one of those layered stickers. And here is another uh, paper clip that things can be tucked under. Okay, and here we have a pocket. Um, with a little bit of stamping on it and uh, just a tear, a little bit of collaging. And then we have uh, a journaling card here. And then this tag has a little pocket in it so you can have another little tag in that. Thought that was very cute. And then this back page has three pockets with little tucks in it uh, just to look at or paper could be glued on the back of this to make it a journaling card. You can also do a little bit of journaling down here. This is just a piece of paper folded over. Okay, so lots of journaling on that and then sticking out of this. This is a pocket. It's a large pocket and we have a card that we can pull out of there. It's decorated with, um, this came off the pillowcase that I used as part of the cover. And this is the inside cover. You can see that this batik fabric reaches underneath the spine and over here, but then this is glued down um, on the back, whoops, to be the inside cover with the pocket here, okay? It's a window pocket um, on uh, an envelope of some sort. Um, it's got all kinds of different things. And then the insert for it it's just a piece of cardstock um, with a belly band across it and a tab on the side. Now, in the uh, here, this is glued together in the center spot so that you have two tuck spots here on this. These pretty little daisy postcards from Dear Julie Julie. And I'll just slip it back in here. With this tab, you can come out. This is where um, the holes are punched and um, the gold, this is an elastic cord, goes through to come over and hold this together. Oops. Oh, I should show you. Um, this is a button that has a stem on it. I just punched a hole in here um, and then I used uh, a um, bolt pin to go through the hole to hold it in place and has a little bitty bead hanging on it okay hanging down so that makes a little bit of decoration there too okay so now we'll 
take this and put it around here. And there we have it ready to go. So I hope she enjoys it. And um, I hope you enjoyed the flip through too. Thank you.